Uh, yeah, I think that, you know, it's been different guys who've stepped up every game and um, seen Joey V get a big one for us, uh, you know, b before the end of the first period and then uh, Volky playing the way he did. And I think, you know, it seems like it's always a different guys, so that's what you need in order to have success consistently, and we've been getting that lately. So, um, you know, our depth is a big part of our success, and we need to continue to, to show that. You know, ever since we start talking about that after that, uh, you know, game in Philly and, uh, and, uh, we uh, we've been really responsible in our own end, and our uh, you know our forward uh, has been back checking hard, and they were m making smart plays with the puck. And you know when the score dictates, uh, you know when you're up, you, two two three goals, you don't need to make risky play. You really don't. And you know sometimes it's it's hard for the players not to do it, but uh, you know it's the right way to do. And you know obviously that's that's what brings success. Penguins have won nine in a row. They did it on St. Patrick's Day, but they're anything but lucky. If there's one area that I'd sing a lot with this team right now, not just during the streak, but really all season, it's the play of Paul Martin. We saw it again today. He made up for Chris Letang's absence, logged 30-plus minutes. He's been all over the ice. You go around that locker room right now, and he's the guy that his teammates are talking about right now. And really, with Chris Letang's injury, he's going to be counted upon even more in all likelihood in the weeks to come. We throw it over now to Rob Rossi and Josh Yoey, our beat writers. Thanks, Dayon. Josh, the Penguins have won nine in a row. Victory number nine did not come without a price. Uh, no, Rob, in the last two periods of this game, the Penguins didn't have the puck a lot. There's a reason for that. Crystal Tang wasn't in the game. He's obviously one of their most important players. We know he has a lower body injury. That's all the Penguins are telling us. Um, after a number of conversations with players, Rob, we have no reason to believe that there's anything wrong with Latang's Achilles area. Brad Marchand's skate was very, very close to the back of Chris's leg, but there's no cut apparently. And Marchand, after the game, said that as far as he knows, he didn't make any contact with Latang in that area. So that's a good thing. I don't think it's a really, really serious injury. But listen, anytime the Penguins are without Chris Latang, it's a big deal. They're not the same without him, and we certainly saw that in the final 40 minutes today. Penguins have certainly proven over the past few years that they're capable of playing without star players. They've been without Evgeny Malkin now for five straight games. Malkin skated before this victory over Boston, but with a day off Monday and another day off later this week, you do wonder if Malkin's going to have enough practice time to get back into the game before the weekend. Of course, the Penguins play the New York Islanders and the Flyers this weekend. They play the Washington Capitals, a team Malkin loves to play against mm -hmm. on Tuesday night at Console Energy Center. See if the Penguins can get their third 10-game winning streak in Dan Bilesma's tenure as head coach. Then, for Dayan Kovacevic, for Josh Oey, I'm Rob Rossi. We are your Trib Total Media Penguins beat reporting team.